So in the end, after this whole hospital thing happened, we went back to the boat. We figured we still had a couple of days that we could fit in, and why not? Take your time, fall in line someday. It's hard to but it's amazing what can happen when some kind of crazy opportunity that kind of scared us a lot. We didn't know anyone that was going to be on this boat. We just met these guys. Yeah, and they just say, come on board. And then we're, okay, let's just, you know, not be afraid and be spontaneous. There was a point in our lives where we became tired of it all. We became tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again and reliving each day, every single day like it was yesterday. And we knew that something had to be done. And we got to really meet these amazing new friends. Um, we come from a generation of people that tend to like make friends when you're younger and just sort of keep the same friends yeah. for a really long time. Like in the same circle. And here we are, we, yeah, we find ourselves out in the middle of Indonesia thrown into a situation with eight crew members and uh, four complete strangers from different parts of the world. Names. Okay. Hang on. Name. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Uh, I'm Jem. Uh, I'm Damien. Old friends from the village, best friends from uh, back home since we were kids. And this is what we do. And I think one of the great things about being on this boat was that we met such amazing, incredible people that have done similar things in their own personal ways. Like, for example, Damien, he sold everything, come out and live on this boat and create something that he's always dreamed about. Yeah. I came here on holiday. Yeah. Um, and then ended up going back home, selling my business, coming back out yeah. here. So coming a dive instructor, you sold your house. Yeah. And it just like went. Yeah. You know. And it's wonderful yeah. to live in the dream. And it's really inspiring to see and to meet another person that did the same thing but their own way. Like one of the guys, Justin. How are we doing guys? My name's Justin, I'm uh, from the United States. He worked his ass off in New York, saved all his money, and then flew himself to Laos, bought or rented a motorbike, I'm not sure which, and like drove it all the way down into like Thailand. I don't have a formal role on the boat, but uh, there's a lot of types that do what I do. Then like somehow made his way down into Singapore, then got on a flight to Bali, then ended up in Gili Air, and then hop and hopped on this boat with these guys he's been stowing away on their boat for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> we sneak on board, we claim a bed, and try not to get kicked off the boat. <laughs> on what they call a stowaway, and it's a wonderful life. Well, hello there. Let me tell you about my boat. Let me tell you about my boat. I've always wanted to say that ever since I fell in love with Life Aquatic and Wes Anderson and all of his magical films. This is the room that Julianne and I have been staying in for the last few days. It's also the room that Julianne and I uh, sweat like crazy for a day and a half with our fever and our flu. It was, it was a pretty rough. Tiny little bed, two of us just dying in here. At one point, Damien came down, looked in the room and goes, you guys look like two little possums. And I still don't really understand what that means. All right, so cabin one, cabin two, just like our cabin. We have another cabin in here, take a look. And then we have another cabin right here on your left. In here is bathroom number one in the cabin. It has this lovely uh, shower. Well, I don't know if that was smart. Okay. So shower, everything's waterproof, wicked little bathroom. And as we go into here, Bathroom number two. So 10, 12 people sleep down here uh, in the basement quarters. <laughs> Let me take you upstairs. We have our treacherous steps. You climb up. The good connection with these people, it made us really compare it to our lives in Toronto and how difficult it was, especially in the last couple of years. I ran in a social circle previous to starting this channel, which like, the glue that bound it, and it's probably not the same with all social circles, but the glue that bound it was drinking. Mark and I made a decision a while ago to completely give up drinking. We don't drink at all. 
maybe well, once in a blue moon we'll have a glass of wine. And so what happened is during the weekends when everybody's going out, you know, Friday nights, Saturday nights, instead of going out and drinking, we were working on ourselves, we were working on Boho Beautiful, we were creating videos. So everything that would grow our brand, that would grow our dream. And so, so we started dedicating ourselves to that. And we shifted our, our time investment from, you know, wasting our time to taking those precious hours and putting them into our dream. And we started to see results and it was really exciting. I mean, in a nutshell, what we're saying is like, we don't have a lot of friends. In Toronto, we didn't have many. Each choice we would make that would progress ourselves, we'd see people fall away. Um, and so making new friends on this boat was a really interesting experience for us. So here we have the main deck. The main deck hangout area, I guess. Um, you can see, perfect for hanging out. Uh, and then this is our back door. Out here is where all the scuba gear is getting held. Um, and it's also where we do a lot of our diving off, uh, sort of our exit and entrance to the lagoon. And if you look out there, that's where we actually shot our video this morning. So when you come in, there's another little rooftop shower, so when you come in from the water and you're all salty, you can rinse right off. Which I thought up in a dream, which I thought up in a dream. Two albino scouts, two albino scouts. Or, or JJ. Yeah. Hi, I'm JJ from Norway. And he hustled in Norway, yeah. and he bought a property of some sort, and now he rents it out, and that pays for his life. And uh, I'm a professional holidayer, so I do this for a, as a professional. So there's so many different ways. And so many stories from different people, and everybody's on their own special journey. My friend, Damien, and uh, Jeremy, they have this boat, and they invited me from uh, the Gillies to come here to go diving. So many years, when you meet people in a new situation, the first question that always comes out of everybody's mouth is, what do you do? Like, what is your career? As if like you were judged on, based on the fact of what you called yourself. That was the first thing people wanted to know. That was the first thing they judge you on. And here, it was so wonderful to finally meet people and make connections where we didn't really care what we do. People were more about, where you come from? What brought you here? What What's your journey like? What, what, the... what chain of events and decisions did yeah. you go through that intersected with their chain of events and decisions to put us all in this place? <laughs> and it's just that realization that we knew that if we wanted to create a life where we can just meet a bunch of awesome people, hop on their boat the next day and sail through waters of Indonesia, we had to sacrifice situations and circumstances and fun things so we could be here today. You know, we had a very difficult last year before we left. I mean, I was working at a bar till 4 or 5 in the morning sometimes and then waking up at 8 a.m. and going to teach Pilates classes and it was so difficult. I remember driving in a car and being so exhausted and all I could think about though was Boho Beautiful. And I think that's what really drove me. It helped me, gave me fuel and energy. So, so the crew, we have uh, eight crew, and they, we purposely have uh, a mixture from all the islands in Indonesia. Okay, my name is John. I am the captain in the Mikumba. Pinisi from traditional, from Sulawesi. Hello, I'm Dika, and I'm crew just... Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, I'm... My name Dena. I'm from Manado. I'm my position, the chief officer. I'm going to show you guys the second floor. So right here you got master bedroom number one, numero uno. And you got a nice big queen size bed, you got closet, AC. And then you have also your shower. It just comes out of this bamboo stick. <laughs> and then we go out into master bedroom number two. 
This one's a little bit more special, I find, because you have the queen size bed, your closet, but the best part of this room, I find, is this. Ta-da! And now if we take a little around the balcony here, and this is pretty much where the captain drives the boat. And then let's go up to the top deck now. So we're, we're all friends, which is a kind of the atmosphere we want to create on the boat as well. When you come here, you, you're, you know, you're with a family. So, man. Yeah. I need you for the film. Om Swastiastu. Yeah. Hello, nama saya Dahalin. I'm from Sulawesi. Kru Mikumba, the engineer. I am Kacho. You can call me Cassie. I am from Java. Uh, I'm Nyoman from Bali. Some of their stories are like incredible. Well, well one of the guys is from Aceh in Sumatra. Uh, he has such a story. It's still resonating today with us. Uh, my name is David from Aceh. He's Jeff Dimikumba Koki. Perfect. When the tsunami in 2004 uh, hit, um, part of what happened that a lot of us know, but the media didn't tend to cover it as much, I think, in Western culture because there weren't as many tourists there, was the bulk of it and the bulk of the damage it hit was in Aceh. Um, and he lived in one of the three villages on the point of Aceh that was hit the hardest. When the tsunami came to hit, he was running down the golf course to, away from the wave, which managed to pick him up and carry him three miles inland. Now, if you ever YouTube any of the footage of the, what a tsunami wave or the tsunami wave in Aceh looked like, there's so much debris, it barely looked like water. And he lost everything, like he lost his family, he lost his friends. He lost everything he knew. Yeah. I can't even fathom what that is like to come back from. But almost every bone in his body broke. And to, to actually meet a survivor from such a devastating event, because we see it on TV and we feel horrible and it's just like crazy, but then you know, we switch the channel and we kind of go about our days. So it was really incredible to meet somebody like that. Triumph, like a yeah, triumph of actually, humanity. Yeah. Like incredible experience because I'm so happy we just decided to live spontaneously and just hop on a boat with a bunch of people we met and scrap our plans. It's basically what we would want isn't it you know that you come here you feel relaxed and you just go exploring yeah it's, it's, it's hard it's hard to explain really. much it's, 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 it's a feeling we are family, one for all, all for one. Santi, 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 all. Together, it's fun. Thank you. Actually, we'll attach Damien's and Jeremy's email addresses because if there's anybody out there that is interested in doing an amazing holiday in Indonesia, feel free to reach out to either of them or both of them because they are going to be starting this new business soon. And we actually thought about it, maybe we'll do a retreat one day yeah, on a boat like that. <laughs> doing this, we're starting to think a yeah. lot about, more about retreats. Yeah. Um, tell us what you think of that, guys. It's a beautiful thing. 
because you know that you have your dream in your own hands and right now everything we do boho beautiful is what we rely on and there and there's no security in it in a way it's terrifying but it's ours someone invites you to do something that scares you that's a little out of the norm or out of your element I mean, what, what do you have to lose? Mm -hmm. But you have so much to gain. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Exactly. That's Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> Probably Larry Bird, too. <laughs> McGuire, Larry Bird, still with me. <laughs> I know why the vagabonds do what they do. They're my favorite YouTube channel.